Day-o! Daylight come and we want go home. Drink all night on a drink of rum. Daylight come and we want go home. Stock banana till the morning come. Daylight come and we want go home. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my home. Welcome to a little vlog that we like to call coffee, tea, wine, and life. So anyway, it is Saturday night. It's been a cold day here. We were supposed to get a mix of rain and snow and sleet. I do not see any snow. I think we started the day about 22. We made it up to 33 today. Right now it is 30 degrees, supposed to go down to 22 again tonight. Inside the temperature goes down to 60 and as much as I hated it, I had to turn my heat on. Yeah, I hate to turn it on this early, but you know what? You gotta be comfortable, so you do what you gotta do. So anyway, I hope everyone is enjoying the weekend. It's Saturday night. I'm going to try to get this videoed and I've had to do it like 10 times because I keep messing up like crazy. If you think I messed up the beginning song, yeah, I've been messing up like for 10 more takes. So anyway, we're going to start again. I mean, I could do a whole blooper reel on this. Anyway, so anyway, Saturday night, I'm going to try to finish this video, get it edited, and so I can get it posted tomorrow before the weekend's over because, you know, it's almost Halloween. I'm only going to have like Monday, Tuesday, is it Monday and Tuesday, and then Wednesday is November. I know, isn't that crazy? And I have got more costumes than I have videos to do. So I'm going to try to get a video done on Monday and Tuesday, and of course Tuesdays I've got that giveaway. So we've got that to do as well. And you know, I've got some unopened wine that I bought for Halloween themed wine. So. I may have to, you know, it's, it's going to pain me to do this because you know how I hate to wear costumes and dress up. I may have to wear a few costumes into November and some Halloween stuff. Yeah, I know. My heart is broken just thinking how disappointed I am in myself. Ah, the sacrifices I have to do to put costumes on. But anyway, that said, cheers everyone. I hope you guys are enjoying the weekend, enjoying your family, your friends, your fur babies, your children, your friends, your family, everything. If you had to work this weekend, I hope it went by issue free and everyone is safe. I know we had a trying few days, not me personally, but the people up in Maine. I don't want this to turn political. So anyway, stay safe. If you are with your loved ones, hug them. Today, is, even today is not promised for any of us. So enjoy the moment. Take the chance to say I love you to people and just enjoy life. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, we got we to gotta bring this up. This is, that was a downer. Okay, cheers, everyone. Whether you're joining me with coffee, tea, wine, water, soda, whatever, have a great, great rest of the weekend. Cheers. Like I said, I have got some unopened um, Halloween themed wines, but you know I'm going to be doing a little taste test later. I thought I might need a sweet wine. So I got some Vino. This is the Tynes, and this is a sweet wine, sweet white blend, and it's it's like a heavier sweet wine, so it's really, really sweet. It's like pears, uh, some apples, maybe some honeydew melon in here. Just really, really sweet. I'm going to be doing a taste test that I got the idea from Tea Time Teresa from Tea Time Adventures. I also saw Kim's a little, a lot do it. I bought the things that I needed to do this last week, and I, I have almost accidentally eaten a whole bag of Cheetos, so. I need to get it done before my Cheetos are gone. I will show you, I did not open the cream cheese yet, so I didn't do the taste test yet, but Cheetos, yeah, I just had to. But anyway, let's get into the look for today. So 
I got the Beetlejuice movie. Yeah, I probably have it on VHS <laughs> downstairs somewhere if I didn't throw it out yet. But anyway, so I got the Ultra 4K version, the 4K Ultra HD Beetlejuice. I've already watched it a few times this week when I ordered it. I saw this on Walmart, so I just had to order it. I don't have the whole costume on because it's cold. Yeah, it was like 60 degrees when I decided I had to turn the heat up. So it's like this little top. It's, yeah, I don't know how people wear it. It's open, so I've got a tank top underneath it. I got this little tie on. I've got these uh, earrings here with little skeleton skulls on it from Timu. I've got my fascinator from Amazon. And so it's like a shirt. And then it has like stockings, I guess you would say, with these little garter straps on it that you're supposed to wear it. And I was going to wear this with my black tights, but it was like, yeah, it's too cold. I've got my leggings on. They're not coming off. Yeah, so I just put the top on over my leggings. So I'll show you what we've got so far. So like I said, this is really open. I have no idea how you're supposed to wear it. And I got this tie here. Yes, it's a clip on. Yeah, are you sure? Yeah. So anyway, it's just this and it's really, really short. And these are like the garter straps here if you were going to put the leggings on and wear it like that. We've got a little bit of lace detail. So we've got this cuff right here and then we've got the lace right here. So just a fun little costume for trying to finish up my costumes for the month of October. But anyway, so that and what did we get? I opened up my Ferrero the 31 days the countdown to halloween and the proceeds went to children's miracle network hospitals and i got a nestle crunch bar i don't think i pulled one of these out yet this is one of my favorite candy bars i love the crunch and the nestle crunch going to be enjoying this later even though i've got plenty of snacks here i know especially i have no willpower so the rest of the bag of cheetos they may be gone tonight accidentally of course i have the worst kind of accidents i know it but before i get too much into that i just want to mention again that i do have that giveaway going on i will have that the video posted out there so we will run that we'll close it on monday the 30th and then i will pull a winner on halloween night and don't know if i'll get to post it on halloween but i will probably if i don't post it halloween night we'll post it sometime on wednesday and again um the video is going to be up there you know i don't think i put i put all the regular standard rules and things in the description but i'm not sure i don't think i mentioned it when i was talking because i was just kind of rambling on for a while there yeah i can ramble sometimes so anyway the standard rules and regulations will apply And again, I'm getting into the coloring and getting back into that and just having a lot of fun doing that. So I wanted to share a little bit because I know some people have mentioned that they were interested in getting into that. And I thought, well, you know, you don't know if you're going to like it or not. So why go out and buy pencils and books and everything else, right? So I thought it was just a little something from me to you. So um, we will, there goes my Beetlejuice. So there are going to be two winners. They're both going to get the, this uh, colored pencil that I got from Amazon. There's 72 colored pencils in here. I emptied out two of these crayon, not crayon, pencil cases. So I took my pencils out and they do hold quite a bit of pencils in here. So you'll have a place to put your pencils and if it's something that you decide that, yeah, this is really fun, you can never have too many pencils because as you're coloring, you just kind of want to just use all different kinds of shades. So this gives you room to have your collection grow. You'll both get one of these coloring books, the 101 Mandela's. It's just if, if it's something that you haven't really colored in a while, it's just an easy place to start because no matter what colors you pick in Mandela's, they just always, always look fabulous. So you'll both be getting one of these books, the pencil case, the 72 colored pencils. And I thought, you, you know what, you're gonna start 
using your, your pencils and the tip's going to break and you're going to say, darn that, Nancy, couldn't you have just thrown in a pencil sharpener? Now i got to go get a pencil sharpener. So I bought two little pencil sharpeners. So you might have electric ones or something in your office or someplace. So this is something you can just kind of keep right in that case so you'll have it whenever you need it. And yeah, you put, put a, quite a few pencil shavings in here before you have to empty it. So you both get one of those. So again, that video is going to be up there. Um, it closes on the 30th. We'll pull two winners on the 31st. So good luck, everyone. And yeah, I hope if you do win that you enjoy it as much as I do. And of course, um, I'll fill in some other things that I have just to kind of fill up the box so things don't rattle around in there too much. All righty. So today, like I said, I had to put the heat on. So we had a mix of rain and some ice. We were supposed to see snow, but I didn't see any snow, but it was a fine, fine mist. And so I'm sure there's probably gonna be some patches of black ice out there. Um, it was a rainy week here and just really windy. A lot of the leaves are down. I mean, a lot, but there's still a lot more on the trees. And um, my neighbor, on the other side of me he hired a company to come and vacuum up all his leaves and i took a video so it's not gonna you so you can see where the line is it's like his grass nice and green mine it's like carpet of orange wet leaves like i said it was raining so i don't even know how his vacuum worked picking up all those leaves but i mean it's a it's a fine line between between the properties and it's like the leaves are still falling we're going to get some wind my leaves are going to go over there and i know he's going to be mad at me but you know what he can't prove that they're my leaves he can't prove it <laughs> but anyway that's just the way it is right when you live in a neighborhood and you're close to everyone but anyway i went out and i tried to take a video off the deck just kind of showing all the leaves that are down it was just too wet out there. I was slipping on the leaves on my deck. It was icy. The cushions that I have out there, they're like solid ice. Um, so yeah, I got to try to get them thawed and then bring them in the uh, garage. I think last year I put them in the guest room because, you know, I didn't have anybody coming. So yeah, I'm going to find a new place. Yeah. So they're probably going to hang in the garage. I want to get one of those wicked long hooks so I can kind of hang them up in the garage instead of putting them in a bag. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, so we did that. Um, let's see. So I want to, I'm probably going to take a quick break, put that video in right there. And like I said, I've only got like two more days of videos and I will probably have to try to squeeze a few extra days of some Halloween themed clothes in my videos for the next week. But anyway, I'm excited to do that. And let's see, we got some taste testing to do. So Raina got some happy friend mail. She knows my love of peeps. So she sent me some Halloween peeps in the mail. So I got these ghosts. And then I opened one because I know this cellophane makes a lot of noise. So we've got a monster. So we're going to try him. And then, like I said, I had seen uh, maybe two weeks ago, uh, Teresa from Tea Time Adventures on YouTube. She did a food tasting, a food challenge with some Cheetos and some cream cheese. And I thought, you know, I like Cheetos. I like cream cheese. So uh, next time I had a uh, Target home food delivery, I had them bring me two bags of Cheetos. I'm usually not into the spicy Cheetos, but I thought, you know, I'm going to try it. Got the smallest bag they had, and yeah, it's a large bag. So we've got the hot Cheetos, and then did the regular puff Cheetos. And like I said, I accidentally almost ate the whole bag of the regular Cheetos. But I did not touch my cream cheese because I wanted to share that with you. So I even left the seal on so you can see I did not do the taste test yet. So we're going to do that with you. And then just in case I do get brave and I tried the uh, Flaming Hot Cheetos, I've got my wine over here to kind of break it to me. 
so I hate these because it makes too much noise. I probably should have taken some out already. So I've got these flaming hot pops. Actually, I took two out of the bag and put them on my plate. And then I've got these. And like I said, this was a full bag like two weeks ago. And this is all that I have left in here. So I have, I just have to do it before Cheetos runs out. Sorry for the cellophane bag, but let me take a few out and put it on my plate. So again, that was Teresa from Tea Time Adventures with Tea. Tea Time Adventures with Teresa. And so she was the first one that I saw do this. And then I just saw Kim's A Little A Lot do it on her channel. So I said, you know what? My bag of Cheetos is almost gone. I'm going to have to do it today just to make sure I can eat the rest of the Cheetos guilt free. So we're going to do that. Um, let's see what we have going on for the week. So I want to do um, finish up my planner for the week before. I've got some thumbnails that I haven't put in yet and some pictures, some old Halloween pictures. So I'm going to finish up that so that on Monday I can do the uh, hashtag plan with me Monday 23. I've got to finish coloring my page because I haven't finished coloring yet. So I will probably post that later in the week. So that's the hashtag color and create with us. You rock art that I'm really enjoying getting into that. I'm going to have to do a wine diary Friday. I'm just going to have to. So I'm not sure I've got, um, well, I got more vampire wines. I've got the chronic cellar where that was in the red wine red wine blend. I think it had like Zinfandel, some Grenache in there. It sounded really good. But then I got that Spellbound that I didn't open yet. So that's a Cabernet Sauvignon. I got the Witch's Brew that was like an apple spice or something that I haven't done that yet. So one of them will have to be on this Friday. So the Wine Diary Friday. I'm hoping to maybe uh, film an empties tomorrow which is what you guys going to see. So I'm going to try to do that on Sunday so I can have that on Wednesday. And I haven't won my Wednesday Adams outfit all week, so I will try to change my, you know, I can have Wednesday here, right? So yeah, so I'll try to do that on Wednesday. And then I've got that giveaway to do on Halloween, so I'll do that. And I might either do a separate video or maybe mix in a small Timu haul. Just try to keep it short without any try-ons. Just some of the fall things. Can you believe I've only got two open orders for them? I know. And one's a really, really tiny, tiny one. I bought um, like some fall mats and some Christmas mats to put in the kitchen. Um, and then after I got them, I got like two, two each. And then when I put them in there, I said, you know, I need a third one. So before they sold out, I went back in and bought one more of each. So that's a really, really small haul. But anyway, let's get into this taste test and see how it goes. And uh, so I've got my plate right here. I'll save my marshmallow peep because I might need some sweets after. So I've got my little Halloween bowl here. Let's open up my cream cheese and I've got a little spoon right here you know usually because it's just me I wouldn't mind just double dipping because it's just going to be me but you know what Cheetos might get messy in there so we will put some on my plate and I'm going to do the flaming hot one first and I got quite a bit of cream cheese on this and you probably can't see my plate, but it is one of my little Halloween plates. I'm a little nervous. I've never had, a, I may have had one in the past, you know, when we have like, you know, a little barbecue at work or something and the guys were bringing all kinds of things. So I probably had it before, probably did not like it, but you know what? I didn't have it with cream cheese before. Wish me luck, everyone. This is the Flaming Hot Cheeto with, and I got the whipped cream cheese. Yeah, I'm nervous. Oh, wait. If I don't like it, I can just shut this off and spit it out, and you'll never know, right? Cheers, everyone. I'm not going to lie. It is not my favorite. It is hot. Yeah, it is very hot. I can feel it still burning my lips where the powder was burning all the way down probably going to throw that bag out already but let's do the regular cheeto i love regular cheetos Alrighty, 
<laughs> I know that's a lot of cream cheese, but you know, that was a big spoonful. Yeah, you know, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Cheers, everyone. It's good, you know, I wouldn't mind doing this again. I'm having another little bite. Just, you know, mainly to get the fire out. Yeah, it's not bad. Makes it seem a little bit more special. So now, let's have one of my monster peeps. Peeps, they're the best, aren't they? Don't you just love peeps? I love how they just keep coming out with them all year around now so that you just don't have to wait till Easter. Alrighty, just put, put a little bit off them. Cheers, everyone. Happy peeps. Mmm. I do not need any wine to wash that down. That is very good. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means so much to me. I appreciate you guys more than you know. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. And you guys, you guys really rock. Um, if you are new to my channel, I hope you take a second. Hit that little red subscribe button over there. I hope you leave a comment or emoji just saying hi. Tell me where you're from. I love getting to know you from through our comments. Of course, thumbs up really helps push my videos out there as well. And yeah, it just it makes me feel good too. Just kind of, someone likes you. Yeah, just a really nice feeling. So I hope everyone goes out, has a fabulous, fabulous day. Take care, everyone. Stay safe be kind, be happy, enjoy life, have some fun. Love you guys so much and we will see you in our next video. Bye-bye.